tonight, John Hughes, who wrote, produced, and directed some of the most memorable films of the 1980s. He died today of a heart attack while out walking here in Manhattan. He was just 59. His movies became the soundtrack for a generation, brilliantly narrating the emotional journey of adolescence with all its beauty, humor, and dare I say it, cruelty. I can't believe you can't get me out of this. For a generation of Americans, it was that music and those cars pulling into a suburban Chicago high school that captured a moment in time. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? The adult yes, John Hughes, it seems, had a knack for finding the drama, angst, and pain of the teenage years. His first hit, 16 Candles, channels the thoughts and fears of the awkward, overlooked high school girl. What's happening? Hot stuff. In the breakfast club, he defined, examined, and then turned upside down the high school caste system. So you just stripped the things that you know. Shopping, nail polish, And in Pretty in Pink, he took on the issues of class and money. This is an incredibly romantic moment, and you're ruining it. Following those immensely successful string of films, Hughes kept going back to high school in various incarnations. Weird Science was every high school geek's fantasy movie. What would you little maniacs like to do first? Bueller. And in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, he took the other side of the class, featuring the popular kid. After Hughes's huge commercial success as the writer of Home Alone, he spent his last years writing a string of largely forgettable comedies under a series of pseudonyms. But for millions of Americans, many now with their own teenagers to raise, it's that library and that music that will define high school forever. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Our condolences to his family and our gratitude for a body of work that will never be forgotten. And that's our report for tonight for all of us at ABC News. Good night, America.